Hello and welcome to a new broadcast. Uh, trying to get your attention here, I'm waving my hands. If you're on my podcast, you won't be seeing that. If you're on YouTube or live, you'll see it. Hello, everybody. And uh, actually, it's probably just one person that I'm speaking to. But have you noticed, you know, when people go live on videos, they feel like they're talking to the world. They are, but it's really just you, right? One person. But uh, hopefully, I'll be able to share some wisdom here today. And uh, I'm excited because, frankly, this is an ongoing series I'm doing in building out these frameworks. I see them all the time, the lack of strategy and insight to build a foundation that really rock your world in business, meaning a platform and these frameworks that really help you build and grow consistently, predictably, and ongoing, as I mentioned. And uh, by the way, um, today I'll be flashing this domain up here from time to time. It's chaoscall.com. Um, you're welcome to go to that anytime. Uh, however, I would urge you to wait uh, until I'm done with this presentation because there's a lot of information I'm going to be sharing with you here today. So I'm going to turn it off for now. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to share my screen here and talk about the um, ad copy and landing pages framework for beginners. And again, if you're on my podcast, uh, you will be able to access this information on Facebook Live, facebook.com forward slash chaos map marketing. Uh, you can just type it into Facebook and you'll get to it. And uh, of course, on YouTube, uh, and that's under my name, Jan Rognerud, and I'm the founder of Chaos Map. So let's dig in here. So one of the things that comes up often is, you know, how do I develop a structure from ads, whether it be Facebook or Google, you know, to a landing page or to some kind of uh, engagement page, whether it's actually a, a very specific landing page or it's a blog post or maybe just a, a strict download to something that they're going to get. Um, and what do I do to build this out? And what should I do next? Right. So always these movements that go on in these uh, these frameworks and these funnels. But I'm going to share that uh, with you here today. And um, I'm putting four beginners on here, but for some of the more advanced and seasoned, this would be a nice refresher. So I urge you to stick with me here. Um, and uh, I'm using no prior data as sort of the baseline here. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I have three boxes up here. I have a box which uh, outlines ad. So that's an ad copy, you know, ad creatives. Um, Facebook is what I'm using here as an example. Can be Google, as I said, Twitter, LinkedIn, what have you. To a landing page, it's an opt-in, you know, headline, subhead, three, you know, benefit-driven uh, bullets and maybe an image. Uh, in this case, I'm using a PDF guide uh, as a download. So that would be an image of a PDF uh, guide um, and a name and email. And then it goes straight to a video sales letter, which is just a video playing uh, with captions so that you can uh, uh, get that displayed on um, uh, mobile in case they haven't the volume turned up, right? And then after that, it goes on to the funnel, which I'll describe in a second. So testing concepts out the gate, that's where you need to start. So an ad to a landing page. What I'm doing here is um, I'm actually saying you should have consistency and uh, and uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, continuity, I guess, is another word. The ad is going to say the same as a landing page, essentially. Now, you hear different things on the net about this, right? So I'm going to just come back online for a second. So you hear a lot of talk about this. You know, you, you should use a totally different image uh, on your Facebook ad. It doesn't matter, you know. If you're not consistent from the ad to the lander, it doesn't matter. Get their attention. That's step one. Don't care how you do it. And then to the landing page, that's where you actually present the information as such. Now, there's going to be some consistency, obviously, because the copy, the creative, meaning the image may be vastly different. Picture of a dog uh, jumping in the bushes or something. And then uh, the copy on the page may mirror and should mirror the landing page. I'm saying there's a lot of discussion about this because some will say, yeah, the only way to do it is X. The other way is you must have a one-to-one -one match. Well, you need to test this. And so what I'm saying is you need to test it with, and I'm going to get off here again, with a one-to-one -one match of copy. So you have a picture of your e-guide here in the image. You have a, 
the copy that references uh, that conversation. And uh, you have a lander with the image uh, that matches and the text that matches. This is a great baseline to test with out the gate. And then, of course, as they opt in, name and email, they get another page where they have that video. So an example here that I put um, up is um, for uh, an existing client that uh, I've been working with in the health and fitness business. Uh, this new thing is just a, a way for me to uh, tell you that uh, if you ever think about, you know, if you're ever struggling with what should I write in my headline, get the word new in there. <laughs> Anything new and free works great. Again, things to test, right? So here I have new, the number one way in 2019 to generate a flood of health, fitness, and nutrition customers online every month, whether you sell supplements, powders, bars, superfoods, or information. This is an urgent, unique, useful, and ultra-specific type of headline. You can use it in emails. You can use it in copy. It's a great way to go. The four U's, look it up online. So here's that's a, just a straight-up, simple example of how you can leverage um, test concepts out the gate. Now, once you start to get some data here, you can start playing with the different methods of matching images to uh, to copy, uh, to landers. And that's what we're uh, going to scroll down here a little bit, looking at <clears throat> creating different copy samples uh, throughout a one, two, three step here. So step one, or version one, rather, is where you have a direct offer. I think I got this from a digital marketer, actually. And it works great. Um, version one, copy creative, direct offer. Why get it? Ask for the action step, you know, call to action. So it's the add to the lander and then to the VSL um, lander as well. Now I put sales letter here in the back. This simply means you could test alter alternately here with an actual sales letter rather than a video, right? Some want to read the sales letter straight up. Some want to see the video. So test those. But what I'm saying here is, you have different ad copy, different creatives, and but the landing pages should match, right? So if you're writing about a direct offer, why you should get it, et cetera, uh, you need to put that on the landing page as well. You don't want to mix, mix match that, right? But you can test now different uh, creatives, different images. That is totally viable, and you should do it. In fact, it's a great strategy once you start to see some data. And a copy sample for this uh, in the ad may be, Again, this is the direct offer, why get it type of copy is if you're looking to sell more superfoods or supplements online, sign up here and learn how we scaled our business to multiple seven figures. Click to sign up today. Strong call to action. Very simple. The version two here is leading with a huge benefit instead. So the same ad, we're talking about different creatives here, same copy, landing page, VSL, right? Sales letter alternative. Here's a copy sample. When Tony Robbins fun, funnel hacked our business model, he found that he had been losing at least one third of revenue by not implementing XXX, right? Don't miss this. Get it today. By the way, I just put in Tony Robbins here as an example, but you get the drift. So this is an example where you lead with a huge benefit. Version three copy creative. This is where you actually look at, as you've seen in my previous posts here, uh, look at leading with a huge pain point. So it's a different approach, and then you have the call to action. So again, the ad, you know, different images testing, different copy testing, uh, but reflecting the, the pain point here. So uh, here an example is some of the largest e-commerce brands in the world, Nike, Amazon, Apple, all face the same problem every day. How do we capture the most valued customer at the best time, dot, dot, dot. Avoid the mistakes and learn what the 1% know about e-commerce in health and fitness. X, Y, Z, right? Now, I typed this up very quickly just to give you an idea and a, and a thought about how you could address this in, in this one, two, three version approach. Uh, the idea here is that you test this with images, with copy. Uh, don't go too crazy on the landers out the gate. You're still gathering data here. As I mentioned, this is for beginners. Uh, ultimately, your data is going to tell you how well you're doing with this. Um, you know, it's exciting to look at an ad and say, wow, that's a great image. That really speaks to what I'm trying to do here. The copy looks great, only to launch it and have it fail. So the data is where you're going to be uh, taking it home, right? And in sort of the traditional copywriting 101 thinking, 
these formulas work great. Uh, problem, agitate, solve, PAS. Attention, interest, desire, and action, ADA. Uh, you know, the staple of the copywriting business uh, uh, to use. And problem, agitate, solve is a great way to call out your, your uh, perfect audience, your perfect customer, client, or patient. Um, you know, sort of uh, apply a little bit of the uh, salt to the wound, so to speak, and then try and solve and help them right there. Um, and uh, and uh, we use it all the time. In fact, uh, we have a lot more examples of this. If you want to take a look at this, as I mentioned, chaos call, C-H-A-O-S-C-A-L-L.com, chaos call, um, allows you to um, take a look a little bit about more, take a little, okay. Definitely my English needs to be upgraded, <laughs> dudes and dudettes. You can take a look at what we're doing uh, and some of the uh, case studies as well. And um, and you can also jump on a call if you so choose. Uh, we're happy to help you and kind of navigate this, uh, this land. Uh, it's complex and very often I hear this, I don't know where to start. I understand what you're saying. Um, I've seen this before, uh, have a lot of thoughts about it, not sure entirely how I should tweak this. And again, there's different levels here, a brand new beginner versus, you know, an established business that is further down in their uh, their business journey. So, but anyway, uh, chaoscallis.com uh, is what you can uh, go to there. If you're on my podcast, of course, uh, you'll be able to uh, go there by just typing that in. Um, I also wanted to show you this. Uh, this is now basically uh, after the fact. So when they opt in, what happens after that? Well, here's a sample of kind of a class training module. You can use this for a lot of different businesses. Uh, in info business definitely is a, is a great way to go. Uh, but after they opt in, what do you do? Well, you go to the thank you page, right? We kind of talked about that. That's the VSL letter, the video sales letter. Um, and uh, that plays and there's an optional timed buy now button that you can use here, right? Um, and then that in turn follows a funnel, step one, step two, step three. In this case, there'll be different videos that are showing here and they are triggered by these emails. So this could be your traditional, you know, seven, 10 day uh, uh, funnel with emails. So day two, day three, day seven, day 10, uh, you know, the uh, frequency of these can vary. Uh, you definitely don't want to go too far apart here because you are thinking in terms of a launch funnel. You want the momentum and the inspiration to be turned on and, and ready to go. And so you're top of mind as well. So if you think about this, uh, once they get into the funnel, there's a lot of opportunity to, uh, you know, upsell and position your brand and, of course, sell your product services uh, in here. And if you encapsulate all of this uh, in your mind right now, you realize, wow, there is definitely some copy that needs to be written there. Well, we do a lot of that as well. Um, uh, and you can see what we're doing, as I mentioned, on chaoscall.com. Happy to uh, jump on there with you. Uh, but essentially, you want to write out the landing pages. You want to write out the content for the, yeah, the classes or the PDF, the guide that, as I mentioned in that example. You also want to write the copy for the emails. And it's not just any copy, right? It's got to be serving by providing value, um, you know, creating goodwill, of course. Uh, you want to be shown as the authority and the leader in the space. And uh, you also want to create call to action to move them, uh, move them through the funnel and to the next step. So that's going to be very, very important. So other than that, let me just get back on here. And uh, I hope you found this uh, useful. Um, essentially, what I'm trying to do here is talk to you a little bit about how you position copy, how you position your creatives. Uh, I'm showing you too many examples here. That's on purpose because we're talking frameworks and we're talking foundational stuff here. So <clears throat> you can see that the way we think about this and the way I think about this is basically in this form, right? So without getting too deep and too into the, to the weeds or to the technical aspects, certainly, we can talk about this by simply drawing it on the whiteboard. So for your business, we would want to do something similar. And you may have very intricate and complex steps here. I don't uh, necessarily advocate that out the gate unless you know what you're doing. Starting simple is effective and useful and definitely will allow you to capture data 
that is so essential for validating whatever you're doing. And so anything that comes in from the top end needs to be validated through the funnel. And you need to make sure that copy drives and creates energy and momentum, as I mentioned, uh, through those steps. So anyway, this is me, uh, uh, Jan Rogerud, founder of chaosmap.com, coming at you fast and then live here today on this fine Monday at the beginning of the year. Very excited for 2019. I hope you are as well. And uh, once again, jump on chaoscall.com. Happy to uh, you know, show you some stuff uh, that we're doing uh, quite successfully right now in various industries. And uh, if not, then we'll just see you on the next live podcast, YouTubes, or uh, Facebook. So again, appreciate it. Yawn out.